What's up folks, welcome back to another video. This is part three of this entire series we're doing about how to deploy your React application separately where you deploy the front end separately, the back end separately, and then you connect the pieces together. If this is your first time on this channel, this is where we help you become a full stack developer. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and we'll be right with you after the pause. In part three of this video, we're going to focus exactly how we can connect them together. In order to connect them together, we're going to focus on the front end. We're not going to do any work on the back end. Again, we're going to show you something optional just in case the connection doesn't work for you, what you can do in order to resolve that. But for us to simply connect them, we're going to focus on the front end. So what that means is I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to navigate to where my front end is located. In this case, my front end is located in this exact location. I'm going to navigate to the folder called client. And once I am inside of it, I'm going to open my front end into my VS code. All right. So once I am inside my React application, what the heck am I looking for in order for me to make that connection well what I'm looking for is every single places that you have an HTTP request or every single places you have an Ajax request or uh, or access request again if you don't know what this is we're gonna exactly show you what we're talking about but what we're talking about is every single places that you have a request that was communicating with your backend before we're gonna replace this one with the new URL of the backend so this backend with the deployed to Heroku, this is the entire URL in order for us to communicate to it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this entire URL and we're going to search for wherever we were making any request and we place the request with that URL. Now, your application can be big or it can be small. You might have a hard time finding exactly where those requests are. What you can do is, my, for my case, I'm using Axios. So Axios is the one that makes the request for me. So I can go here into that search little bar and search for Axios and click enter. And there you go. You see, it gives me a lot of example of where I'm using Axios. In my case, I'm using Axios right here. So I'm going to click right there. And wherever I have this Axios request, this is where it was making the request so all i need to do is paste the url right before this slash api so i need to paste it right there and there you go we have this ready to go now make sure you do not have double slash so i'm going to remove the extra slash and now this should go ahead and communicate with our server that is on heroku so if i go again here i see another access i'm going to click on this one again and now here's another request that we are making we're actually going to do the same thing and paste it right in front of this guy right there so i'm going to paste it right here and boom i paste it right there we move the extra slice and boom we're good to go now again for your case you could be using any http request the goal is search for it and prepare this URL in front of wherever you have the routes. All right, once you have these changes, you need to make sure that you run npm build to get the latest build with those changes. And the reason that you have to do npm run build because when you run the now command, it's going to look at the build folder for you to deploy your application to Zite. So that's one of the reasons you need to run build in order to get the latest changes that you've done. And once that's done, once that's out of the way, type the word now to deploy this application to Zite and later and gentlemen you should be good to go and there you go guys now our application has been deployed to Zite. so technically everything should be working end to end let's find out again Zite already copy everything for you into the clipboard now if i open this and paste our react application let's see what happened and there we go we have an error don't worry we're gonna fix this but let me show you exactly what's happening right here okay so if i right click inspect this let's take a look at the error message and go to the console tab now check this out now it's complaining about the course policy now the reason is now that your react application is on one server and your backend is on a totally different server and they're trying to communicate and the browser now is enforcing the course policy because you're trying to talk to a totally different domain that is different from your react application if we take a look at this domain this domain is client that that now that sh and this one is a totally different domain that you're trying to connect to so how can we 
solve this? In order for us to solve this, we need to go to wherever you have the backend application, okay? This is important. Wherever you have the backend application, we're going to install a package. And this package here we're going to install, it's something called course. So we're gonna install this package called course. And what this is gonna do for us is this is gonna allow us to accept requests from different origin. So I'm gonna go here and add, import this package here, course. And once I have this package imported, I'm gonna go here right before the MongoDB connection. I'm gonna paste uh, that configuration right here in order for me to configure course. And once that's done, I'm gonna go here again and through the same process, git add, git commit, and then git push Roku master. So technically after this step, everything should be working as expected. And there we go, our application deployed to Roku. And if I go back now, open a new tab and paste my React application. All right, let's right click, inspect this to us to visually see this. So if I add a new post such as a very simple test to, for us to see if this is working and click submit. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, our application is working. Everything is connected into and let's try to add a note post, such as second post and add a very basic message and boom, everything is working. Now, if you've made in this for congratulations, you got your Merin stack application deployed into different environment and you were able to connect them together. If not, please leave a comment below in the community and myself will try to do the best that we can in order to help you out again thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if this video has helped you into any way and see you guys into the next video oh finally Whew.